What is up, my crazy scrub? This is Joking John City 4 here bringing us more Black Ops 3. Today, I'll be doing a best class setup for the Vesper. Now, one of the biggest changes that I did from the previous best class setup is that this one will allow you to do stealth. Compared to the previous one that I posted on Monday, that one, um, that was kind of a chaotic weapon. You know, you can go ramble mode, you can take out a bunch of enemies back to back like crazy, and yes, you can build up your kill streaks like crazy also. And, um, you know, it's a great weapon for um, free for all also. And um, if you guys want to take out like large uh, hordes of enemies, you know, that class setup will be the best. Now this one, this one, I label it as the stealth version of the Vesper that I had uh, before. And I believe it's a great, you know, weapon. If you guys saw my best, um, you know, like 20 kill man feed. If you guys saw that one, it's pretty much an insane one. It took me like around two minutes to get like around 20 kills back to back. But um, overall, it was an insane gameplay because, you know, I had like so many chances to die. But all of a sudden, like I just reloaded, took out the next enemy and then reloaded again. It was just back to back to back to back. And it was totally insane. I'll probably put the link in the description for that video so you guys can check it out. It's like 20 kills back to back. And I did it all with this weapon right here. So let's move on to the attachments so you guys can know, you know, how do you how to, to set up this weapon and uh, uh, you know why it's gonna help you guys out sneak up behind the enemy lines so one of the first attachment I wanted to talk about will be the suppressor not the suppressor it is a great attachment for stealth but the problem is it does lower a little bit of the damage I used it in the battlefield I'm talking about battlefield wise not damage wise that the bar that shows you here I'm talking about battlefield tested this weapon does lose a little bit of damage so Seeing how it's that, you gotta be very goddamn accurate. If you do miss a single bullet or two or something, you're always gonna be finding yourself reloading onto the next enemy. You know, once you take out the first enemy, there's a the next enemy after that. You know, you're not gonna be ready for it if you missed like a like half of your mag. So be very accurate. You gotta be pinpoint accurate. If you're not, you can pretty much fail with this weapon. So it's, this is kind of like a for advanced Call of Duty players out there. If you guys want to sneak behind the enemy lines, you know. You gotta be very accurate with this weapon, with this attachment also. Now moving on to the next attachment, which will be the extended mag. This will allow you to actually take out three enemies at once. And without it, you can barely take out two. So, you gotta really add the extended mag. Without it, you're just gonna find yourself reloading all the goddamn time. And I'm telling you, uh, that's what happened on that gameplay where I went like 20 kills back to back. And now that I ended up the, adding the extended mag, I did test out the weapon a little bit further. And it did work even without the grip. So, add the extended mag. If you guys wanna take out three enemies at a time, with uh, without it, you're only gonna be able to take out two. And that's kinda sad, because what happens if there's a third enemy in front of it? So you always gotta think ahead. So add the extended mag, and you'll see a huge difference with the vest, where you're gonna be able to take out like large hordes of enemies. Well, only three, kinda max. Unless they're, they're like all together in the one flag. You can probably take all four of them or something. So now moving on to the next attachment, which will be the stock. Now this one will allow you to move sideways as fast as possible, beating out your enemy, making your enemy miss like most of the time. So without this stock attachment, if you just add the grip or something else, you're not going to be able to move. You're just going to be a sitting duck, and that's something you don't want to do with SMGs. So add the stock attachment in order for you to fake out your enemies and also aim forward so you, your bullets can like travel faster forward and also beat the lag because you know how people are sometimes with their internet it's just Walmart connection McDonald's connection you know how all these people are you want to beat out, beat out the lag beat out quick scopers beat out head-to-head -head players you know you gotta add the stock attachment and this will allow you to actually you know get those kills like crazy you're gonna notice a huge difference when taking out enemies back to back so add the stock attachment it was it is gonna be a great improvement so that's it guys that is the best class setup for the vesper and i told you guys why you need all these attachments and also the lethal tacticals and perks you can have whatever you want but i'm currently using the thermite shock charge which is pretty much helpful you guys are are afraid from being attacked from behind you gotta drop one of these guys because um it is a good shock charge compared to black ops 2 is it's, it's kind of still the same but this one kind of makes a little bit more of a you know an impact you know it kind of slows in the enemy a little bit more down so add the shock charge I, I, I promise you it will make a huge difference when rushing through buildings and stuff uh, the next one will be the ghost and scavenger and blast suppressor now the ghost is a huge plus because I'm not gonna be detected by UAVs and I don't care what people say about ghost I'm still gonna use it because it's part of the game so anyways scavenger I wanna you know awesome I recommend adding scavenger. Without it, your your weapon's gonna die super quick. So, add the scavenger. You gotta unlock it real quick or unlock it permanently because this is one one thing that you really need, and it's gonna refuel your tactical, lethal, and the vesper. So, that is a big perk to have. And the last one, I have blast suppressor, of course, to keep my stealth going. So that is it, guys. If you guys want to see more best class setups for Black Ops 3? Make sure you subscribe for more.